So in this video, we're going to look at the point of intersection between a line and a plane. And in the next video, we'll do the angle created. So we'll do it in two parts. So first of all, let's have a look at that line. And I'm going to write that line rather than the Cartesian form. I'm going to write it into the vector form. So let's just rewrite our one. Now we know that it goes through the point. If it's x minus one, then the point that it goes through is one, y plus two, so it becomes minus two, and z zero. And there's t lots of, and the vector is what it's divided by. So two, and y is divided by one, and the z is divided by three. So that's the vector equation. And what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to substitute a, the general point into this plane here to get the value of p. So the x value is 1 plus 2t. And the y value is minus 2 plus t. And the z value is 3t. And I'm going to go to the plane and say that that's 2. Then the x value is 1 plus 2t. Minus 3 lots of and then we've got minus 2 plus t, and then plus z, so just plus 1 lot of 3t, and all of that equals 20. So that's the equation of the plane with my point. Now, if I go through, it's going to give me 2 plus 4t. You can see I'm going to get an equation here in just t's. So I can see there I've got 4t's equal to 2, 6, 8, take that 8 away from 12, 20 to give me 12, and t is 3. Well, if t is 3, we can go back up to this part here and work out each coordinate. So the coordinate is 1 plus 2t, which is 6. It's minus 2 plus 3, which is 1, and it's 3 times 3t. So there's my point. So that's actually quite straightforward calculation. 